Welcome to episode 17.5. This is going to be an in-between episode for us. Um, it's not a full-length episode like we usually do. We've been getting a lot of questions regarding stretching. I think it's just because of the time of year. Yeah, people are outdoors running, biking, softball. playing sports. Yeah, right. I, corporate challenge. A lot of mine have come from, in the way of softball, we have a lot of clients that play softball in leagues. And a lot of questions regarding stretching and how to stay warm or warm up before a game so that they're not pulling hamstrings or lower back. Things like that. So we put together five good stretches that are good for the entire body, especially mm -hmm. if you're going for a run or if you're going to be playing and staying active in sports. Um, so other than that, I main mean, goal, you know, look at the stretches, hold them for about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, what I will mention about the st uh, static stretching is we want to make sure we do it after and not beforehand. That's a very so good stick point. Stick to the di dynamic stretching before workouts, and then hold these after, and hopefully it'll relieve some of that tension and pain that you might have. That's a good point. And just to kind of touch base on that, because I know I mentioned people asking before stuff, the warm-ups that we did for traveling and stuff are yep. also double for sports and things of that nature. So the jumping jacks and the calisthenic kind of mm -hmm. things that we went over in the past. So yep. those are good for warm-ups. These are good for a cool-down. So with that, we'll get straight into it, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. All right, so the first stretch that we're going to go over is for the lower back. A lot of the questions that we've been getting um, here at the show is mostly regarding lower back stretches. So we're going to start with what's called the cobra. So watching Megan here, you're going to start flat on your stomach, go up to your elbows. And if this is too easy for you to make it a little bit more of a deeper stretch, you can go to your hands and press up just like that. So again, this is for a lower back stretch. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, I would say try it from your hands, but Starting with your elbows is never a bad idea. Perfect. All right, so keeping in mind that a lot of lower back pain actually comes from hamstring tightness, we're gonna go over that next. So very, very standard, so short feet shoulder width apart. We're just gonna reach straight down to your toes, keep those legs as straight as possible, and stretch just like that. And that exercise can also be performed from the floor as well. And if you go to your heel and press back, that's a deeper stretch. So it's actually the one that I prefer myself. And that is that. Now we're gonna go through a quad stretch. So we'll start with a standing quad stretch. You're just gonna grab your ankle and pull straight back. Perfect. This is a very simple stretch that we recommend for anybody who's looking to stretch their quads. Now to make this a little bit more challenging, oh, and your hip flexor, sorry about that. Thanks for pointing that out, Megan. Uh, to make this a little bit more challenging, we can actually go down to the floor. Now, for this, what we're going to want to do is, if you have knee pain, first of all, this probably isn't the stretch for you. But you can come down straight to the floor just like this, and then to make it more challenging and a deeper stretch, you can actually lean back. This is a very challenging stretch, so again, if you have any knee pain, ankle pain, things of that nature, this is not the stretch for you. Maybe just try the standing one first. All right, now we're gonna go through a hip stretch. So we're gonna start in a high lunge position. So making sure that you're not bending the back leg, you wanna keep that straight. And then also you wanna put pressure towards your front leg without lunging forward. You wanna take your hips towards the floor. To make this more challenging, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands down to the floor. And again, focusing on keeping those hips square to the floor. To make this even a little bit more challenging, you can walk your foot out and go down to your elbows. Again, focusing on keeping those hips square to the floor. This is a much more advanced stretch here. So if you're just getting started, start with just the high lunge position and pressing those hips towards the floor. All right, so now we're gonna go through a chest stretch. What you wanna do is clasp your hands together behind your back, straighten out your arms and lift upwards. Now to make this more challenging, you can actually lean forward and then stretch those arms forward towards the top of your head. Again, this is a more advanced version. Just putting your hands behind your back and reaching upward is it's plenty enough for most people. Good. One more. 